So we're talking specifically about Auburn. You know, I think, look, I mean, you go up against this Georgia team, and I'll be honest with you. I mean, I think there was, based on what we've seen in, in these last six weeks, you know, Auburn did put up a little bit of a resistance. I'll give them, I'll give them that. I think there was some resistance. Of course, Georgia, we know there's a history there coming, you know, to play the, the, the deep south oldest rivalry, right? Like, I mean, that's, that's just kind of the nature of it. You come to Jordan Hare, you go between the hedges, you know, you're always going to get a pretty good game. But I don't think anybody thought coming into this one it was going to be, you know, a quote-unquote good game, so to speak. But I do think that Georgia definitely, um, you know, got a little bit more resistance from this Georgia team. Uh, this Auburn team got uh, – I'm sorry. Georgia got more resistance from this Auburn team, um, certainly. And so, you know, with that being said, you know, I think that Auburn, um, you know, there were things that they could have done better, right? Like, first and foremost, the inability to score in the red zone. I think that's the one area that we, we keep hearing Harson just come continue to harp on and rightfully so you know not finishing drive that's the frustration because even against Penn State you know in that crazy wild environment um, you know there were things that Auburn could have done to one win that game I think obviously this game was definitely much more out of reach but your inability to score in the red zone um, you know you put together that methodical drive uh, you're in in position to score on the nine yard line and you just can't get it done mm. so I think that's where you know there's some concern about finishing and I think the pieces are in place I think there are some really good things about this Auburn football team but when you can't finish and you can't you can't be a complete team in all phases that's where the struggle is and so I feel like it's the, it's the scoring in the red zone and then I think the other thing is too you got to look at uh, look at the drop passes right the statistic oh, yeah. that yeah. Um, we're looking at right now that I kind of highlighted and, and Tom Green highlighted this for AL dot com you know twenty three total drop passes in six games seven drop passes in that game alone against Georgia like you can't you can't have three drop passes much seven against the Georgia team right and so you know how do you how do you fix those mistakes how do you how do you fix that how do you go back to the drawing board you know you fire a wide receiver coach and you do it quickly and you do it kind of abruptly and now you've got to kind of turn the page and so I think that's another area of concern because while Auburn can hang its hat on the run game it has to be able to be balanced. And I think that that's one area that you just, you feel needs to improve 